Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage Michal Vacek, my head of Geos Engineering. Um, I will speak in English, it's not for me being the smartest, but I want to practice. And, um, well, um, I won uh, a T-Bumpy competition in 1990, and 21 years later I joined Red Hat. Now I work as a quality engineer guy on uh, Cluster. Cluster is a, a clever load balancer. It uh, features uh, load calculation on the server side. So unlike other balancers, uh, it's not guessing the, the probable load on each worker. It knows exactly um, how much each uh, worker is loaded. Um, there are um, other cool features like uh, dynamic configuration, so we don't have to keep any a um, list of workers, uh, all workers join the balancer automatically. Uh, balancer advertises its presence uh, via multicast and workers are joining the balancer and they, uh, um, they tell him uh, what context, uh, context they, are, they are able to serve. So we can have a, a cluster consisting of let's say 10 nodes and uh, two applications, uh, one being available on five nodes and the other one on the other five nodes. And if it will work correctly, the balancer will know that this, this application is available only on, on a certain nodes. This is a setup that uh, is uh, uh, hardly to be reached with, uh, with uh, MojK or, or other, other solutions. Um, I will walk you through the um, simple setup. The dots on the left, uh, White Rabbit uh, marked them. These are clients. It's, it's a swarm of, uh, of uh, clients. Um, okay. um, in the middle, uh, these are HTTP uh, daemon instances uh, with mod cluster loaded. The circle, it's mod cluster. It's, it's um, designed loaded. And here we got uh, a bunch of uh, cats. Tomcat 7 in this case. Uh, and I guess the picture applies for Tomcat 6 as well. Um, clients uh, flood the balancer with requests and they, uh, they forward the requests to, uh, to Tomcat. Uh, it's important to say that uh, most balancers are unaware of each other presence. And, uh, so we can have uh, some kind of uh, DNS balancing in front of the HTTP demons. So the balancer is not being a single point of failure. Uh, now we might uh, wonder whether each balancer knows uh, uh, what uh, kind of load is, uh, is uh, at each, uh, each worker. It, uh, it knows it because uh, the workers are sending the load information back to the balancer. So there is a bi-directional communication, not only that the balancer sends requests to the Tomcats, but the Tomcats are responding um, with a special mod cluster messages uh, containing information about the load, uh, available contacts, and uh, uh, some other setups, for instance, uh, sticky sessions, and um, other uh, network properties. One of the um, cool features of cluster is the uh, um, possibility to divide Tomcats to load balancing groups. So if you have um, a big cluster, let's say um, 100 nodes, and you can divide it to two groups. One group, let's say 50 nodes, and the other group, uh, the other 50 nodes. And now you, you face the problem, you want to upgrade your servers or move to another provider or whatever. You uh, can shut down one group very gracefully, so you tell mod cluster, balancer, um, do not create any new sessions on this group of servers, and as soon as all the sessions are drained, there are no more new sessions, you can switch this group off and do whatever you want with the servers. Uh, in the meanwhile, all the new requests, all the new sessions 
have been forwarded to the uh, previous group. So uh, your clients uh, might might experience uh, with a higher latency, but they they won't get any any uh, nasty errors. Um, well, if a client uh, has a session opened on uh, one of the servers in the group B, let's say the the green line, one of them, and the server became unavailable. So let's say the third uh, Tomcat on the bottom um, just dies for whatever reason. Uh, there is a failure to another Tomcat instance, but within the same group. So we, we got even the, the failover uh, feature functionality available within the groups. Um, well, Regarding the load calculation, uh, there are several ways uh, the, the load is being calculated. One of them is the heat memory occupation or CPU load. You can uh, count uh, uh, traffic, uh, how much data is being flooded to, uh, to the Tomcat server, or you can count uh, uh, busy threads, uh, threads being busy necessary requests. You, you, you can. Uh, um, even tune your own metrics. So if you have a, some specific application uh, relying on, uh, on uh, some specific backend, uh, you can write your own uh, load metric and generate your own number. It, it's as simple as sending one number between zero and 100 back to the balancer. It's quite easy to write your own load metric. Uh, here we got the uh, um, Again, the, the same uh, setup, two volunteers, a bunch of clients, a bunch of cats. Uh, there are seven of them, I guess, yeah. And they are uh, like uh, live bars, uh, hit point bars uh, attached to each of the Tomcats. And you can picture a scene where um, two of the Tomcats uh, are overloaded. For instance, uh, their CPU just fried. They are, they are not able to, to handle more, more load. Because the clients that, that um, were working on them performed some specific operation or loaded a really, really huge bunch of data to process. They are not uh, fit anymore, so the balancer uh, stopped stop sending requests to them. And instead, uh, these requests are um, being sent to other nodes. The only difference is uh, a slightly higher load on the other nodes, as you can see. And uh, again, uh, for clients, and nothing changes. They uh, they in, uh, they don't experience any 500 errors or, or other non non automatic errors. Um, well, um, here we, we came to a demonstration of a cluster. But I, I'll stop for a while and uh, explain uh, a little bit more. Um, the idea of, uh, uh, of the sticky sessions. Uh, in, in this setup, we will, uh, <coughs> I hope that at least two people in the room got the uh, MC Bus application installed on their Android phones. Please raise your hands. At least two people. Okay, he's got more than enough. And um, there is a, a Wi Fi network available. It's uh, called uh, MC Bug. It's, it's not uh, encrypted. Uh, please join that network. It's my own private internet here. Um, so connect to the Wi Fi network and do not uh, launch the application. Not just yet, okay? And most importantly, don't try to break to my computers. I'm very glad that they, they would still work. Uh, in this setup, uh, I will send requests to uh, one of the Tomcats. And you, you will see that uh, regardless of the number of requests, you, you will stick to one Tomcat only, uh, unless uh, unless uh, something bad happens to it. Uh, it's because we have we got sticky sessions uh, enabled, so the Modcaster is trying to uh, keep the session on one node as long as possible. It's because of uh, it's. Um, it's trying to prevent the data loss, the loss of, of context. So, for instance, if client is uh, working with some kind of uh, uh, 
um, uh, eShop or whatever web application, uh, the session data are being stored on the Tomcat. These, these Tomcats are um, single instances. They are not being clustered together, so they, they do not know about each other. So the client uh, is working with one Tomcat, and if Tomcat goes down, for instance, it's overloaded or, or the data center just broke up. So the webcaster forwards this client to another Tomcat, but you will lose your data. You will lose the, the immediate context. Whatever is not, not saved to the database, you, you will lose it. And that's why webcaster is trying to keep uh, the sessions on the one node. <coughs> Uh, if we have a clustered environment, Ondra uh, Hishka was speaking about it, uh, then you will not experience any, any data loss because uh, the session you are working with will be uh, replicated through the cluster. Well, I will ask you now to, uh, to launch the application. <laughs> so what we've got here, uh, this is our balancer. So unlike in the other uh, other pictures, you've got only one balancer here, and uh, white rabbit marks you the clients, and you've got three tomcats, red, green, and blue. I can see this color pretty clearly. Yeah, and uh, if you tap on the screen, who's tapping on the screen? <laughs> Um, your screen flashes a red color, <laughs> and the color corresponds to a client that responded to your request. <laughs> um, in the meanwhile, uh, I will wait for the other people to install the NC web application and join us. I will uh, briefly show the configuration of this particular setup. Um, well. Balancer. Uh, this piece of uh, configuration is the only thing you've got to do to enable uh, the whole functionality. So just load the multi-cluster modules, and uh, you briefly configure uh, the manager module, which means uh, obviously the address and port on which it listens. Uh, we create a virtual host. We uh, allow it only from my computer to, to configure um, the webcaster, otherwise we will probably try to switch it off or, or do any, anything nasty to it. And uh, uh, as a type group, uh, it's a feature that marks a UDP address and port on which the balancer advertises its presence. So on the next slide, in the uh, Tomcat configuration, there is uh, nothing about about uh, HTTPD. The worker just listens on the UDP address and waits for the balancer to advertise itself. So if I want to spin more Tomcats, I can do it very easily. If we were, if we were in the cloud, where uh, uh, probably uh, multicast is not allowed, uh, I will just add here a line telling the IP address of the, the balancer, and that's it. No configuration of contacts, uh, anything like that. Um, well, please uh, continue tapping and tell me who's got the, uh, the blue computer. Who's blue? You are blue one, two blue guys, three blue guys. Okay, so uh, <coughs> picture scene where the data center is uh, on fire, or for whatever reason, this computer ceased to function. So I will just uh, remove the cable. It's an uh, obvious failure. There is a lot of messages in the log, but uh, what color you got now, guys? 
Red. 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 And you? Red. So the people from the blue note were forwarded to the red one. And uh, who got green? Well, I got green for a while, and it changed for what? Red. And Honzo, you got uh, red or green? Green. Green. So I guess you might uh, join the, the red team. So now there is only one Tomcat left, it's the red one. So everybody got a red one. No no nasty errors. Show me your red red, red phones. One, two, three, four. Red tablet over there. Well, um, I will wipe them back. Uh, but right now, uh, Motaster has no reason to forward requests to, do, to, to these two notes. Because uh, the red note is just fine, it's not being overloaded, it's, it's, uh, it's accessible. Uh, however, we can uh, unplug this uh, box as well. In this case, I will just uh, remove the power and uh, it will come back to the uh, blue and, and the red note. <laughs> well, uh, do you have any questions before I, I wrap this up? No questions. <laughs> no questions. When, when, when I put the cluster running and uh, all clusters are full. That's a minute. <coughs> and all machines are overloaded, it's, it's possible to set any flag or to, to plug it into, for instance, Magi Magios and to, to have a notification that all cluster is overloaded and we yes. need a new instance. It's, uh, it's very easy. Uh, th there is a, uh, there is a, uh, like a multi-cluster manager console. It's a very simple web, web application uh, living uh, inside the, the balancer, inside the HTTP uh, daemon. And uh, it shows clearly uh, each node, uh, load on each node. So we've got uh, a blue box, green box, a red box. Uh, we see the uh, contacts enabled on each other. So I can monitor this web page or uh, HTTPD uh, log and uh, react on events based on, on this uh, web page or on the FHE log. So if, if I see in the log that or, or nodes are being overloaded, it's a good time to, to do something, to spin more instances or to join, join more servers. Uh, don't get confused. Load 99 means it's not loaded at all. Because the higher number, the lower the load. Any more questions? No. So, uh, thank you for attention. And that's it.